Time to do a drive through of the park. This is Whaler's Rest RV Resort, and it's located in South Beach, Oregon. And you can see here on the coast, you see Heidi's little picture there. It's because we uh, share our location with each other. Uh, south of Newport, it's actually South Beach, but I think it's outside of South Beach. And you can see how close we are to the water. You'll see the previous video that we walked down to the beach. You do have to cross um, Highway 101, but it wasn't too difficult. You kind of see this blue dot. That's actually not where we're at. We're closer to where Heidi's face is there. Here's the uh, campground, what it looks like. There's a north and south side. Again, we'll, we'll go through. We'll show you that. It's pretty simple. Um... All the sites are 30, 50 amp pull through or back in sites. Uh, there are some 30 amp full hookups, but they're so little. I, I think there's four, and I don't even know how to use them or get them. There is uh, some dry camping, and you'll see there's getaway cabins, studio cabins. Um, there's a vacation cottage. Uh, all that stuff will just kind of ride by that. But, yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, show you what this look like this north whalers rv lodge it's the same as it's there's there's no two ways about it i'll go ahead and click on this you can take a look the cabin's 155 dollars a night of course this is thousand trails it doesn't cost us that matter of fact we get to stay in those things for free um but yeah it's uh it's a nice place they have an indoor swimming pool uh the showers and everything are really nice picnic tables uh, dog walk, horseshoe pits, there's a pickleball or tennis court, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty what decent. have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Here we go. I said our campsite's pretty decent. It's not too bad, is it? I've had good luck with it. Can you ride beside ride. me so we're talking about the same thing? Yeah. <sighs> this looks like a washout down there, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Want to be it. Good thing we have electric bikes on my She don't have to pedal. <laughs> <laughs> Put more juice to the scooter here, I think. Put another gear to it. There's the playground. Michael saw him behind as usual. So here's a common camping area. That looks pretty nice, right? Yeah. yeah, playground, volleyball, basketball, swing set. So if you guys don't want to hear kids screaming, you want to be away from these sites. <laughs> or if you have kids, you want to be near these sites. Yeah. Of course, that's all the tent area. I don't know if I'd want to go down through there or be in a tent when there's bears wandering around though. <laughs> a lot of people have satellites. I'm surprised how many people watch TV here. Looks like there's a dog run here. The Rockwood? Yeah, an old Rockwood ultralight. Figure that out. Yeah, we'll see if we can go through these rounds. Here's a pad. How tight is this one? Pretty good, that's not bad there. There's some more tent sites down this way. 
a lot more tent sites than I thought. Yeah. So I believe this is a uh, shower house, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Looks kinda, like they have a fish kinda, cleaning station. Kinda primitive, yeah, outside he said fish cleaning station. Please place crab and fish waste in a bag, tie shut and place in trash receptacle across the street. So. They have a dump station here. There is a dump station here. Nice. That's good. Um, these are pull-through sites. There's three pull-through sites here. I don't know if I like that necessarily. Did you want to go down that way, right? Yeah, we have to. Yeah, we're just going to go down. Uh, the, the streets are one way. Yeah. It's all one way through here. You can't. So we'll, we'll just go out the way we leave and then go crossed. Okay. I think. <laughs> oh, it's a storage yard, so must be short-term storage right through there. Another rock wood. Hi. It says do not enter. So must be a loop. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a one way loop. Did you want to yeah. go down through there? You want to? Down through this loop? Okay. If I get bit by a dog, it's your fault. Horseshoe right. pits. Again, another one with a coat. Howdy. Some of the getaway cabins. Again, we have stays at these cabins that we've never used. Uh, I don't know the details of what we got to do, but I know we have a bunch of free stays, like thousands of dollars worth of stays. So maybe we should look into that. So we, do we want to cut through this way? Is this a one way? No, that's one way coming up. So let's go back around up through this loop, back to where we were. Wastewater treatment facility right over there. That must be maintenance down there. Yeah, employees only. Now, as far as what's going on with the uh, campground, it's split into two sections. You can see this section here and then that section over there. Now, we could have just as easily come out this gate, which is automatic, and gone over there and uh, see if we could find a site. But we tried to do, uh, tried to do what we uh, did, and that was find a site right away. Because uh, this is kind of a little trick, if you guys don't know this yet. The closer you are to the entrance or the exit, the faster you can get in and out of the park, although you do see a lot more traffic. I don't want to come through this side when... Here, Hyde. Okay. Big rigs, proceed the next loop. Let's go ahead and go up this way. It's one way. I will say that they have a lot of sites for big rigs here. Yeah, yes they do. A 
a lot more than uh, like Fort Myers Beach yeah. RV Resort. Right. Although they got big ones in there, they don't have a lot of sites for them. That was an Encore Park though. Yeah, they're all pretty much similar. Yeah. It's a little cul-de-sac. Yeah. And another getaway cabin, it looks like there. Hello, how are you? So now that we did that loop, we'll go ahead and go through the uh, getaway cabins. Now, we have free stays again. I want to say that a few times. No matter how you look at it, we paid for them on some level, but we can stay at these cabins, I don't know how many times a year. And, you know, they're just little, little mobile homes, basically. But it would be nice. I mean, sometimes I think you want to have a long, hot shower like we did the other day. Instead of running a hotel room, you can stay at one of these cabins. There's a putt-putt golf course down here. That's the gate that you check in at. There's a pickleball court. There's a lot of people camping through here. Little speed bump. Er, it's chilly. Lower level, multi-purpose room fitness center shuffleboard. Cool. Looks like they got overflow parking right here off to the right. And loose gravel on steep grade. All right, do you want to go this way and then we'll come back around? Okay. And this is disc golf, mini golf is down here. The beach boulevard is down here. I don't know what that necessarily means, but we'll check it out. One way, so we gotta go up the hill. Wrong way, do not enter. I was stuck pedaling up the hill. I had no power. <laughs> really? I was trying to change it up to the passing gear. Still find it amazing how many Arctic foxes we see out here. This must go down to dock or something, right, Hyde? Down this direction? Because do not enter. Do not enter. Okay, we won't. It's a little loop over there. That's one way coming up that street, so that's a do not enter, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll say that they have a lot of mature trees here. 
don't know how I feel about that if there's a storm, but it's awful nice for the shade if sun was an issue here, which not really. It's not really. Uh, of course, some of these RVs have been here, looks like for a while. Uh, you, know, you got seasonal sites and permanent sites still usually strung through Thousand Trail Parks. Seems like a quiet loop. Uh, these sites are reserved for 38 foot and longer in the peak season. This is a high use park. So you can only get two weeks here unless you have an extended stay, like we do, where you pay a little extra, you can stay. Is that high use all year long? Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure it's all year long. Okay, and we already went up there, so back down this way. This is Beach Boulevard. Are we going up this way? Is this the laundry room here? I don't think so. I don't know, though. It might be. Yes, it see. is. It is. Is it? Okay. Yeah. See the vents coming out the wall there? Oh, yeah. I see laundry detergent in there. So there's the uh, laundry mat. So as you see here, putt putt golf. Got a couple of getaway cabins, which is really nice. Yep. Yeah, more getaway cabins. It's a beautiful looking rig. I wonder if the getaway cabins are bigger than the regular cabins. Well, it's the ones we get to use. Yeah. That's all I know. Because those are big. Yeah, these these. Oh, are that like might be lodges. two though. I don't know. to the main entrance. This is the exit for our place. And you can see we got tennis, pickleball courts. No vacancy for walk-ins, obviously, because the place is packed. There's the new membership sales and upgrade. There's the manager's office. Huh, they got a Connect Four game, honey. How am I? I like that. I've never seen one like that. Yeah. And then this is a little gift shop. It's closed right now, but you guys can see the gift shop there. Yeah, they said it hasn't been open. Howdy. You may go first. Yeah, you can go first, honey. So this is another dump station here. And there's a dog walk up in there, or just a, a trail, I should say, in general. Hi. Howdy. So this is the main entrance, it's the one we came in. And um, basically it's first come first serve for your sites. You just don't wanna take one that has a cone unless you have a rig that is like 38 foot. So obviously we didn't, we didn't need that length. The angle in which the pads are make the backing really easy. I don't know if you can tell, I'll turn around and show you this one right here. But 
the angle is really, really easy to do um, because you can see the road. And I'm just telling you, it's, it's nothing. It's really nothing to do. It's nice. Hi. Again, lots of satellite users here. If you want to get away from that, it's down in the links. Go to EasyCom. They have unlimited TV and unlimited movies for the most part. I should say unlimited. I don't think you'd ever watch them all. Um, and you can do it all through their unlimited internet. You don't have to carry around that dish and all that crap. You just have to have a data connection. So we're all the way back pretty much around to where we started from. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> There's this long sight. Howdy. And then back to our site, which I like our site. 